Well, water use actually tanked at school and businesses during the pandemic because, first of all, a lot of people were working at home and, of course, schools were closed. But people at home, on the other hand, overshot those water savings. They used more than 51 times the amount of water here in the Bellagio Fountain. And that was just in the four months after the governor's stay-at-home order went into effect. Well, stay at home put added strain on our already dwindling water supply just down the road at Lake Mead. Residential users use more water, whereas commercial and school users use less, but the offset was still a positive increase in usage of water, which is problematic for, for the future water levels of the lake. Well, Nicholas Irwin and other UNLV researchers wanted to know the impact of Governor Sisolak's stay-at-home order when it comes to water usage. They examined water bills of Henderson businesses, schools, and residents. One month after the governor's order went into effect in March of 2020, they say Henderson residents used 48 million gallons more water than in previous years. 306 million gallons more in month two, about the same in month three, and a whopping 478 million gallons more in mid-June into July compared to years prior before COVID. In all, that's 1 billion, 135 million more gallons of water while people were at home compared to years prior. Now, putting that into more perspective, Irwin says that's about 1% of what our area is allocated in water from the Colorado River each year. Researchers say the little things at home all add up. Even if you wash your hands you know, for one extra time, that's gonna be maybe another gallon of usage. If you're doing that every time you come in and out, you know, over time, if there are multiple people in a household, that contributes to an increase in water usage. Irwin says many people at home don't have low flow toilets compared to many schools with older toilets using five to seven gallons per flush compared to low flow toilets using 1.6. People didn't eat out washing more dishes at home, which can use 20 plus gallons if we do it by hand. Not to mention that a 10 minute shower can use as much as 25 gallons. A bath, 35 to 50. It all adds up. And Irwin says it's an issue we may all feel if this societal shift of working from home continues. This could mean that we reach drought conditions even, even more quickly. Um, and what this may be mean from a policy perspective is we really need to redouble our education efforts about water conservation, especially new people who move into these areas. All right, and catching the show here right now at the Bellagio. An important point that Irwin wanted to make is that not all of this water that we're talking about just vanishes. He says water inside your home that goes down a drain is filtered, goes to the wetlands, and eventually back into the Colorado River. Now, water outside your home, though, is not reclaimed, but there's no percentage of how much is reclaimed, how much is not. And by the way, we do want to make a point that the water here does not come from Lake Mead. It's actually well water here. Reporting live on the Strip tonight, Joby Hill, Fox 5 News, local, Las Vegas.